All right, I'm here with James Southam from APU, uh, the Distance Super Tour winner from last year and the 10K Classic, distance, 15K Classic champion in, at Distance Nationals last year. Um, he's gonna take us out on the Distance 5K course. So we are here in the stadium right next to the start finish area. And um, the 5K course basically heads out on the sprint loop heads down by the by the new Biathlon Stadium and heads out into the old Mises Folly area of Kincaid and then finishes up with the leakish 2.9 before uh, dropping back through the stadium and uh, doing it all over again. Cool. So, uh, let's go check it out. So here we are about 300 meters into the race course on the, uh, the third step piece of the Sprint Hill Climb. Um, it's kind of a rude little, two steep little pitches. Uh, before we head, uh, there's a little dip and a rise before we drop down over to the new, uh, new Biathlon area and then head out on the old, the old uh, Mises Folly part of the cave. Alrighty, so we've just passed through the Biathlon Stadium, which is right down there through the fog. Um, and we're starting out on the Mises Folly section of the course. Um, we start out with a little bit of a rolling uphill and then we're going to drop down into um, into the Mises Folly and there's a it's a pretty fast downhill with a sharp left hand blind dropping away curve with a compression at the bottom um, so that's uh, kind of got to be on your toes and then uh, climb up after that and um, then we'll head down into uh, to the bottom of hairpin. Alrighty so here we are uh, kind of at the turn on hairpin um, we have dropped down a big fast downhill and then uh, on this climb it starts out with a little pretty uh, a little gradual climb here up into this little steep uh, steep corner and then we head up this and then we do another switch back and then follow the ridge up above us um, before we head over to, uh, to the Lika section. What's key for this climb? Key for this climb is the top half. <laughs> Not blowing up on the on the yeah, first part. Not uh, not getting too ambitious on the lower section um, because it's a uh, there's a lot of climbing after uh, after the steep corner. So we've come over from hairpin and uh, now we're about halfway into the weakest section of the course. Um, we've dropped down this ridge here and then uh, come up this climb here, which is kind of a V1 V2 section, depending on how you're feeling and how fast the snow is. Um, before we make a little left hand bend and then uh, head up and drop down and then we've got kind of one more main climb uh, before we drop down into the stadium. Okay so here we are on the, uh, the final climb of the, uh, of the race course and it's kind of a pretty gradual section here a little kind of continuing to gradual roll up pop down a little bit and then you've got a little bit of a rise before we drop down into the, uh, there's a final fast downhill um, before you head into the stadium and then, uh, and then go under the bridge into the finish.